what are the main topics expected to be discussed during uh, this upcoming economic conference that will take place in Egypt? Of course, the economy will be the main topics, but mean it will be uh, the sub uh, titles or sub uh, subjects, which is very important. We are talking about the new law, investment law, mm -hmm. talking about all the problems of, they are talking now, I don't know whether they are going to it's be able to It's a unified change. investment law. Yeah, one law. Uh, uh, and how mm -hmm. will this affect the uh, conference itself? Look, everyone, we, wha when it's easy to come and invest anywhere. If you have cash or you have money, you can go anywhere and, and put your money and invest second day. The problem is that mean wh why you are getting in your, first of all, the problem to get mean all the approvals. We are talking about one window. Still, we this is, have been on the agenda for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to say, hard to implement, mm -hmm. but we hope one we window? see it. One uh, window? It's like the one-stop shop? Yeah, that's something <laughs> like that. It still means very hard because there is a lot of uh, ministers involved. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. The second thing mean is that there, is, that there have been a lot of problems between some of the investors and the Egyptian government during the last few years. This mm -hmm. has to be settled. Also, at the same time, uh, the new law will, will, uh, will clarify and highlight exit plans because, mm -hmm. as we have mentioned, it's to come very, very hard to... Yeah, to well, imagine you are going to invest in a country where I mean, it's, it's much easier to divorce your wife than sacking me an employee. That's very hard to, to, to yeah. understand, but, 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 but by the end of the day, we have to deal with it. We have to change it. We have to understand that the investors have mean uh, mm -hmm. other opportunity. So do you think that all what you have mentioned now uh, are going to be the responsibilities or the missions by the investment council? I mean, there is an investment council which uh, with the directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, is to be formed before the summit in March. And uh, I think he presided over a mini cabinet meeting, including Dr. Nagla El Ahwani, the she's, she's uh, in charge, uh, international in uh, cooperation minister, and also Ashraf Salman, the minister of investment, in addition, of course, to prime minister engineer Ibrahim Mahlab. So how do you see the coming tough mission or responsibility to be shouldered by this uh, investment council? Look, honestly, it's not easy. Yeah. But by the end of the day, investors mean one money talks, they start to listen. Egypt is a big market with about more than 90 million population. We have uh, agreement with other countries uh, opening the door for our for Egyptian product for uh, markets uh, about 1.3 billion people. So we have a lot of yes. Even mean if you are talking only about the market, the local market, it's mm -hmm. more than enough. But by the end of the day, uh, the return on investment in Egypt is one of the highest compared with a lot of other locations and other, other countries. And that's one of the main uh, elements why we haven't seen a lot of big company leaving in the country or uh, during in the last year or liquidating their business because they know me, uh, the, the market, they know the size, I mean, uh, the percentage and the profit. Mm. Uh, I believe mean that uh, in the, within the next few years, we'll see a lot of uh, investment coming into Egypt. Uh, now we are stable, uh, but Selling the idea, it takes time, uh, mm -hmm. it, it won't be easy, we'll have a lot of problems and a lot of questions will be raised during the summit, but honestly, that's a good occasion and a good opportunity for everyone to listen to the other party. For me, the investor to listen to our view as Egyptian government and for me, the Egyptian government to, to listen to their views and their problems and their worries and their concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, once you mean, you find I mean, a common ground, it will be mean, uh, much easier to promote Egypt and to, to proceed ahead. What we are looking uh, to have mean five to 10 billion uh, dollars uh, as investment on, on a yearly basis, that's not mean much at all for what we can offer in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So let's wait and see. Uh, we are on track now, which is the main, uh, the main uh, element. And uh, I believe uh, that people see Egypt in a totally different way and appreciate now that Egypt is back. and. Uh, a lot of people mean, will come in to, of course, mean to, to get share of the profit and, and mm -hmm. of what we can, uh, the outcome of their projects here. But at the same time, that one of the main reasons they want to help Egypt uh, overcoming this uh, situation and becoming mean Egypt mean we are looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I mean the summit even mean uh, uh, the future in Egypt or future yeah. of Egypt. Mm -hmm. So do you think the upcoming parliamentary uh, elections will have its uh, impact on the success of the economic conference? Definitely, because uh, one of the we, 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 we heard a few mean comments from even mean our brothers in Dubai and in the Gulf talking about that they need mean before the summit to see the parliament mm -hmm. in, uh, either 
finish or uh, processing. And the main point is not they are trying mean, to, uh, to involve themselves in our uh, domestic issues. Mm -hmm. No, because all the degrees, including in this new law, will be signed by the president. And according to the Constitution, all these laws have to be revised by the parliament. Mm -hmm. So people have to come here and know that mean, what they see is what they are going to get after one year or whatever. And they want mean, to parliament to, to be mean to this law to be signed and confirmed by the parliament before they come and invest money because they are worried that maybe the, the, the president will issue a law and that will be modified or amended by the parliament. And that's why they need the parliament that this issue to be over before they start uh, investing in Egypt. And I believe the timetable uh, is very parallel to each other. Uh, the election will be in March. Uh, this was my coming question, sir. Whenever we are talking about <coughs> main issues, main events to take place in parallel, is it for the best interest of our people or we have not learned the lesson yet? I mean, because on many things in the very same time. Look, we don't. Uh, <coughs> you, you are 100% right. Uh, Jack of all trade, master of none when it comes to this idea. But at the same time, we don't have the luxury of time. We, we have to, to go ahead and, and be, be quick uh, because uh, uh, the, 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 the poor I mean, layer of the, of the society cannot wait more than mm. that. Uh, they accepted the risk of uh, energy, petrol, uh, the electricity uh, without any problems on the ground, thanks to God. And that means uh, believing that they will have a reward or their returns or their share of mm -hmm. what's happening. In a very, in a very short while. So we don't have the luxury of time, and time is very pressing. And this is what President El Sisi said and says, and think, and I think will always say in every occasion. We do not have time, yeah. and and because of this, we are starting many mega projects in the very same time, and uh, saying um, in every and each occasion that this is how it should be. My question is: Have we, as people, learned this lesson? or we are still having trouble to absorb the, uh, uh, the current period with all the busy schedule we have. The, you are moving mean from a very, very, uh, or no activity at all to yeah. a mega project and a lot of activity, whether to be on the political scene or the economy. Uh, of course, uh, you need to, uh, as they always say, stop, revive, and survive. Mm. We already stopped. Now we are always mean to hoping that the, mean the, the, the society mm -hmm. and the people start to revive so we can survive. Mm -hmm. I, I think mean, you are in the spirit of reviving mean mm -hmm. the people, the economy, the ideas, and get together because by the end of the day, President Sisi is not going to implement or, mean, or implement his vision on his own. He's mm -hmm. one man. And yeah. Uh, nothing means not as one man show. Yeah. It's a teamwork. More we, less me. Yeah. So that's what we, we hope mean the, the Egyptian people understand and uh, don't mean everyone can sit down on in front of a TV or a TV cameras and start to criticize what's happening without doing his share. Mm -hmm. Let me work hand uh, in hand and, and see what will be the outcome. We have a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of uh, elements in our economy. But a lot of homework should be done. There is a lot of challenges, not only homework. Mm -hmm. uh, but what are your expectations for the uh, economy, the status of the Egyptian economy in the near future? Let's look. Uh, on the 25th of January 2011, there was no war. There was nothing mean uh, distracted mean from, uh, from our uh, infrastructure or our roads. It was a change of just uh, management, mm -hmm. change of will and management. So all in our elements is still there. We need mean better management uh, to be more optimistic and people start to work and uh, mean, uh, leave me now the, the media and what's happening. And let's talk about what we are going to do, mean, uh, what we are going to do today and tomorrow. And now we, we see mean what's happening on, in the Suez Canal. We, we mm. see mean a new m mega project coming mean after this one. Uh, the North Coast, uh, the, the mining. The new city of Al-Alamein, new city uh, of Rafah al Ismailiya of millions of citizens uh, across Egypt, as you said, you name it. So it's, it's a lot of mean things happening on the ground. I mean, my main worry sometimes that you will be run out of labor. We don't have mean the, the manpower to cover all these projects at the same time. That's my main, one of my main concerns personally. I, I believe me with all this mega project, you don't have mean the manpower to cover all of them at the same time. You mean the trained the qualified ones. The qualified mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. ah. And, and so what about the funding? 
funding is so mean what happened on the, in Suez Canal. There is a lot of way to get funding, either to be through the government, through uh, private uh, investors, uh, through uh, society who could share like what happened in uh, Suez Canal. Uh, they, they already invested 54 billion pounds in eight days. That's unheard of. Mm -hmm. uh, from small to medium uh, uh, investors. Uh, there is Egypt is full of money, mm -hmm. and that's the difference. I mean, people when they make a decision and they want to see what's what's going on, they have to understand that the economy itself have a lot of potential and a lot of money, and it's more like a cash economy. And what we are seeing the, op the, the op uh, figures, it's only mean according to some experts one third of what's happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. So two thirds of the 